It's your Marshall Marty, signing into Phase 1 of Game Development with C++. Hey everybody, welcome back to Code of Team, and today we're going to be creating a 2D platform with C++ and the SFML graphics library. So to get started, let's head on over to the, to the Code Blocks IDE download page, eh? So, nothing a quick Google search can't get us. Oh, just type in Code Blocks into Google, will get you to here. And then you can see Code Blocks de IDE downloads, easy enough to find. Then you'll see this this page here, and it'll say download the binary release. So you just click that. Now it doesn't matter if you're using XP, uh, if you're using Linux, Macintosh, or Windows, it doesn't really matter. But then the one important thing is that you go with the download that is MinGW. So you can go with um, a zip file, it's an executable file, it doesn't really matter. But MinGW is the important thing, and 6, 16.0.1. So I'm going to download the, that one for Windows 10 at SourceForge.net and that'll take us on over to Sor SourceForge and our download is going to start in 3, 2, 1. Oh, there we go. Save file. And now it's going to download at the world's slowest download speed of 90 kilobytes per second. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, the reason my download speed is so slow is because I live out way out in the middle of nowhere in country Saskatchewan. So enough about that rambling. We'll be back in a second when this finish, when this ever downloads. All right, so th so that took long enough. But anyways, we've got it, and it's, it's code block sixteen point zero zero point one Minji W. So we're gonna open it up. If you're using a zip file, this might be a little different for you. I know the screen just blacked out. It always says that when I'm installing something. So. Next, I agree. Next, install. Um, I already have it installed. Uh, now nah, I'm not gonna reinstall it. I don't want to mess up anything. Basically, just click yes to everything. Make sure if a little thing pops up, um, saying which compiler is, make sure you go with the GP GCC one. All right. So now, if now you have code blocks installed, wait for it to load. You can run a quick second, check it out, see how it is. So this is the page you'll get once you open up code blocks. It's a pretty nice. It's a pretty nice IDE. Then create a new project from there. So and we can't create an SFML project yet because we don't have the SFML library. So to get that, let's head on over to Google again, eh? So just typing SFML download into Google here will get us to this page here, and basically just download a, a version, a two version of SFML. Well, I'm going to go with 2.3.2. .2. I have no idea why. It just sounds cool to me, if you ask me. And then basically download it to your or likings. The important thing is to download the one that says MinGW because that's going to be our compiler. That's the code block standard compiler. And then based on which bit of uh, operating system you may have, download whichever one you want. So I'm going to go with the 64-bit because I do have a 64-bit. Uh, make sure it corresponds if you're Linux, Macintosh, or whatever. Save file. And it's going to download again even slower than before at 70 kilobytes per second. So I'll be right back after that takes a whole heck of a lot of time more to download. Okay, finally, that took long enough. So you can just drag that to the desktop. But basically it's gonna be located in your this PC download section. Then you just wanna right click on it, extract all, depending on if you're losing, using Linux or whatever, you might need a different extractor. And just extract the same to the desktop. And it's going to extract quickly one second. Okay, that's a little more than one second. Come on. Come on. Alright, so I've got this extracted to the desktop to ensure you have the right the right thing. I should have bin, include, lib, all that good stuff. So, yes, in fact, I do have the right sort of thing. And now you can move it to a desirable spot on your desktop. I already have a, a pre-downloaded version of SFOMO. Hmm. I have 4.2, but the the versions don't really matter as long as if it's 2, the syntax doesn't really change too much. So we can move that, move this to the C drive for future reference, because I'm sure we're going to do more good stuff with the SFML library. So now that we have SFML 2.3.2 installed, well that's a mouthful, we're going to head on over to CodeBlocks. Come on, CodeBlocks. Alright, and then I'll see this page here click create a new project and we'll see a whole long list of other stuff that doesn't we're not really we're interested in but the one here that we want is f is sfml project click sfml project click go click next make sure you have two sfml 2.0 selected click next 
and go with the dynamic link library and basically name your project whatever you want we're going to name ours platformer okay that's the canadian way of spelling platformer i guess and then we're going to browse where we're going to put this we're going to put this in my usb and we're going to pop it in learning okie dokie click next um then browse for where you where you have your sfml library located but then basically click on the folder that has the subfolders lib and include click next i mean okay when you're finished click next um basically i have all these settings set as the default click finish and you are good to go so then click on sources a and then you're going to okay double click on sources see if we can see that a little better there we go then you can double click on main C cpp which is cpp is the extension for the c++ file and then you'll see an example bit of code so if we try and compile and run this we're going it's going to compile and then we're going to get yeah error after error after error and the reason to that is i'll show you in a quick second head on over to the directory of where you have your new um your new um, project created right here all right so here's the directory of where my project is i'll see in bin debug so there's the compiled application but we're going to need a few more things to get it to run next you're going to want to head on over to your to wherever you have your sfml project the sfml library located and click on it then i'll see bin and then copy all these dll's Control c to copy and then paste them into the directory of where you have your application paste wait for it to go through and then because this is a this is a um sfml uh sml this is a sml example we're gonna pop we're gonna need the you'll see a, if you if you did everything right you'll see a, a cb bmp file move that into bin debug as well double click and if you get this folder if you get this window here you have done everything correctly and you are good to go eh so that's okay that takes a little while to exit out okay there we go so that's basically all i have for you this video i hope you guys enjoyed so I basically showed you guys how to set up code blocks how to set up sfml with that and now we're good to go to start actually doing some real coding if you have any questions or comments leave those in the comment section down below be sure to leave a like and if you enjoy what we do and we guys are a help to you be sure to subscribe as well that's all for you guys this time and i'll be seeing you in the next i'll be seeing you next wednesday actually marshall marty out